So last week I watched this uh, on Blu-ray and bought this on Blu-ray. So I had it for a while and I just got around to watching on Blu-ray. Now uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Now I saw this midnight screening, so uh, it's not. It's actually about like three times now, and this is okay. So can't overemphasize it. Uh, if I get to the camera, absolutely fantastic film. You don't really need to watch Star Wars or, or anything about Star Wars. It's in front of my face, so it's good to actually thoroughly enjoy this film. Hi, I'm Solo. Go have a bit of fun with this. This is what this film is. This is Solo, a Star Wars story. It's one of the most fun Star Wars films in recent history. I mean, you know, the... Uh, okay, that's not to say Rogue One isn't fun. Rogue One was a genuinely good film, but I absolutely love this one, you know. Uh, and, I mean, actually, I like all the... You know, since the Disney purchase, you know, they've made uh, four Star Wars films. Uh, Seven, Eight, Rogue One, and... Solo, and this one, I love episode 8, I thought it was fantastic, episode 7 was a uh, painting by numbers uh, version of episode 4, Rogue One, really thoroughly enjoyable, but it's all bogged down with the galaxy far, far away, this one, you can, you don't really have to have much knowledge of Star Wars just to thoroughly enjoy it, you don't even really need to be much of a fan, I don't think, to enjoy it, I'm a fan for next year will be my 40th year, so, uh, yeah, I was young when I started getting into it, but like, I think most kids are, and this one, you know, is, uh, you can take it or leave it. You don't really have to. If you're a Star Wars fan, I know a lot of people go and I saw uh, the, uh, uh, one of these uh, trailer parodies uh, of it, uh, Honest Trailers, and uh, they said they basically tore it a new one. And you really, it does, you don't really need to watch it to enjoy the rest of the Star Wars films. But it's fun, and that's the key thing about this. Ron Howard has given us uh, a fun film, and... And that's uh, what's absolutely fantastic about it. It is absolutely fun. But, uh, you know, uh, let's have a look at the extras. I'm actually going to rely on this. It's right in my hand. The extras on it, this is where, it, you know, it goes from a five-star film to a, a four-star Blu-ray. Because, you know, uh, there's no commentary on anything, which would be, I would have loved to have had an audio commentary. As just, but, you know what, we'll gloss over that. And uh, it has, this is what the actual features are. Uh, Solo, the director and the cast round uh, table. That was fantastic. Uh, my only complaint is it wasn't longer. You know, uh, it's worth uh, buying for that alone. It really, really is. Uh, it's enjoyable. It really is. And I just wish it was longer. You know, Ron Howard, uh, you know, uh, leads the round table event with, with uh, the cast of Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, You've got uh, Kasdan on Kasdan, the writers, uh, remaking the Millennium Falcon, Escape from Corellia, the train heist, Team Chewie, becoming a droid L337, Sc uh, Scoundrels, droids, creative and cards, welcome to Fort yes Yipso, intro to the Maelstrom, the Castle Run and deleted scenes. You know, really after Solo, the director and Cast Round Trey Blue, they all seem to blend into one after a while. Uh, I ended up watching it while I was doing the ironing. And, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, they kept me entertained, they did, uh, for all of uh, one and a half to two hours. But the round table one is the one that stands out. Like I said, the rest of them are all generic. Uh, but uh, it's still enjoyable. The film itself is fantastic. You know, uh, I know it had uh, problems with the original directors uh, being uh, relieved of directorial duties towards the end of the production. And the Ron Howard remade most of it. And... You've got a lot of Star Wars fans that said, oh, I didn't like Episode 8, so I'm avoiding uh, Solo a Star Wars story. And it's it really is their loss. Uh, and, uh, you know, because it is fantastic. I, when I saw it at the cinema, it was uh, an empty house. This was on a midnight screening. Uh, well, almost empty house. Uh, Bearing in mind, Episode 8 was packed for the midnight screening. So there's a lot of people just, uh, you know, due to negative press, uh, missed out. But I think it's doing quite well on Blu-ray. If I'm right, uh, number one in the uh, in the you know streaming, digital, whatever format you watch or buy it on, it it was on week of release. So where it is now, I'm not quite sure. But it's a fantastic, enjoyable film. It's fun, and it does bring fun to the galaxy far, far away. I can't see them doing a sequel to it, which is such a shame because it is set up for a sequel. It is casting superb. Alden Ehrenreich is fantastic as uh, Han Solo, and uh, Woody Harrelson's brilliant. I mean, I'm going to list the characters now. Emilia Clarke as Kira, Donald Glover is Orlando Carizian. Absolutely fantastic in the role, and uh, takes over brilliantly from Billy D. Williams. You can see 
uh, you, you know, the character, he is Lando Carissio's stand-up. Because they're, they're always brilliant, Tandy Newton. Uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge as L337, a fantastic droid. I mean, uh, one of the good things about the Blu-ray is finding out she was actually a practical uh, suit, just with CG on us. She's, she's superb, L3, fantastic. Of course, Paul Bettany, always brilliant as Dryden Boss. John Favreau voicing Rio Durant. I love John Favreau. Uh, can't wait to see his uh, Mandalorian TV series. Absolutely fantastic. But the yeah, unbiased. John Favreau is brilliant. Can't do uh, no wrong since he did Chef and, of course, Iron Man. But mainly Chef, no Iron Man, but Chef and Cowboys and Aliens. I've got to say again, Chef, fantastic film. So, uh, yeah, I love Chef. Probably can't tell. Chef, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's got a few MCU actors in it. And, of course, it's got starring John Favreau as well. So, brilliant. We say again, Chef. I shouldn't be saying Chef so much as I'm doing a solo review. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you can tell John Favreau anyway. Yeah. But Donald Glover, you know, again. And uh, Alden Ehrenreich, brilliant as Han Solo. And a nice little cameo. If you don't know who the cameo is at the end, uh, watch it just for that. And the whole how Han Solo gets the Millennium Falcon is absolutely spot on. And see a, a, a brand new Falcon and how it ends up is, you know, and seeing Han Solo touch his heart by the uh, end, absolutely brilliant. So just go watch Solo. If you don't know what Millennium Falcon is, I don't know why you're on this channel. But, uh... Go watch it. Solo Star Wars story deserves better than it, the, you know, and deserves deserves a sequel. So come on, Disney. Hope you make your money back and bring a sequel on. As I'd love to see Alden again as Han Solo. He is superb. So that's been my review of Solo Star Wars story. Can't tell Angel it can. Yeah, absolutely loved it. So see you all in another in the geek room.